we're crabbing here. I don't know if you can see, they're bringing up a crab pot. This is a recreational crab pot, and I want to introduce Joy Talley here. Joy, come on up. Okay. And uh, this is Joy Talley. Joy is our education specialist at South Slough. And Joy, what do we have here? We, it looks like we have several Dungeness crab and a lot of red rock crab, and the students are going to pick up the crabs, measure the the carapace size of the crabs and determine whether they're male and female and we're recording that information today and we're going to see if there are any that are big enough to keep and eat. Okay. Where did the Dungeness crab get its name? There is a town in Washington along the Olympic Peninsula that's named Dungeness and that's where they think uh, the name came from. Cool, cool, all right. And uh, now we're going to move down and talk a little bit more about the Dungeness life cycle, is yes. that right? Yes, yes. Okay. So, Ashley is going to help us talk about the Dungeness life cycle. Okay. Um, well, it starts when the male, in like spring to fall, the male and female mate when the female is soft. Then the female extrudes her eggs into the ocean. They turn into an embroy. They're just free flowing. Then in winter to spring, they go to Azoya and they go through five stages of that. After that, they go into a megalope. And April to June, they can be seen in the eelgrass. In three to four years, they're adult crab ready to harvest. Very good. All good. right. Joe, so, you have more to share with us. Go ahead. We do. So we were going to show you, we have a couple of different crabs here. We're going to show you this one is the first one we caught this morning, and it's called, we're calling it a keeper because it is a male Dungeness crab, and it is big enough. Does somebody want to hold up the ruler to show them? how we're going to measure the Dungeness crab here and that it is big enough by Oregon standards for us to keep and cook for dinner. So thank you Andy and good job Andy. Andy. All right. Andy, do you want to tell them how we know that this crab is a male? Uh it's it's thin and broad. So we have the abdomen here on the Dungeness is nice and narrow and that's how we know that it's a male. And uh, and then this one is a red rock, right Andy? Yeah, yeah. red rock. Okay, so this one is a red rock crab, and you can see her abdomen is nice and broad, and that's where she'll hold her eggs. Um, um, and it's generally a little bit smaller than the Dungeness, but it's also one that here in Oregon some people keep and use to eat. And there's not just as much meat, but people say the meat is sweeter. Sure, so. and is there something you want to share with us in terms of your catch? He's been recording for us whether the male and female and what size they are. So okay. why don't you tell us about the different crabs that we caught? On sample one, for our first time, we, the first one we caught was a Dungeness, or um, is genus species, um, is Cancer Magister. Mm -hmm. And its carapace size in centimeters was 14. And it was a male, and it's sample one and we caught about we have it recorded too here on the sheet so we caught first. about 10 dungeness today Very good. all over and one of them recently we just caught was a size 11 female and so that, that was on sample 11 three. care space centimeters size and, yeah okay centimeters. wow and the one female we got was 10 and a half and dungeness and its care space size was 11, as you know. Thanks for sharing your research, all of you, and keep up the good work. Keep it going.